Okay, we're here. Uh, this is the blue nose build in case uh, anybody hasn't picked up on the first two. Uh, if you're tuning in and expecting to see me starting to build the ship, putting the hull pieces together and, and the bulkheads and that, no. Uh, that's not the way I work. I usually jump, I don't really follow the plans a whole lot when I get them. What I'm doing now <clears throat> is I'm getting all this uh, tedious, monotonous little things out of the way. Like I said, once I go to start building, everything is set, ready to go, and it's just a matter of start throwing stuff together. So, first thing I did, and I've been working here for probably a couple hours, is I took all my castings, all the castings I had that came with the model, and I got them in these little pill bottles. Save your pill bottles, don't throw them away. And no, I'm not a drug addict. This is years of saving these things. Uh, but I took my castings, here's the anchors, and I went through all of them and filed down any seam lines or anything like that that were on there. Uh, because there was, you know, they were visible. So I got rid of all that stuff. And uh, it wasn't hard. Just took a jeweler's file. This stuff is pretty soft. Uh, so you got to be careful with it. Because you will bend some of it if you're not careful. So this is all the castings. And they came in four different little baggies. So I kept them in four different little bottles. I don't know why they came like that or what. But... They were in pretty good shape. Uh, nothing. Uh, uh, one of the gears I had to mess with to get it right. Uh, the steering wheel. Well, the steering wheel. Here it is. The uh, ship's wheel, or whatever you want to call it. Got a little problem with it. Nothing big. I can take care of it. But one of the little spokes is gone. Okay. I don't know if it's going to show up, but right there, there's supposed to be another little spoke there. It's gone. And I don't think it's any big deal. If I turn it the right way, it'll be on the bottom. You won't see it. I might even glue a little piece of metal on there to take care of that. So, <clears throat> that takes care of this stuff. Now listen, do yourselves a favor. Uh... Get yourself a towel. Either lay out a towel or do what I did. And I'll show you this in a second. Some of these pieces were so small, I had to get a pair of uh, tweezers to hold on to them. I could just barely get them in my fingers so I could file on them. And, uh, but get yourself a towel or, like I said, do what I did here and I'll show you in just a second because you're, you're filed on these and if you drop it and it hits this hard surface it bounces and when it bounces it's gone and you're on your hands and knees looking everywhere for this little thing so here's what I did got me a piece of Tupperware set that on here and was working over this so if I drop it it falls down inside of here and it'll bounce around in here and it will stay on my desk. That's what I was using. Uh, a towel I think would work just as good. You lay out a towel and when it hits that it should get caught in them fibers and stay there. But I was using this and believe me I did drop a couple of them and they fell right in here. I didn't have to get down on my hands and knees. Now I've been working on some of this laser etched wood these are the rings that go around the mask and the sails tie off to them. Okay, these are the bigger ones. These here are the smaller ones. Now the first thing I did, uh, this one isn't so bad. This one here was really bad. It looked like it had been, somebody took a torch to it. And I, and I, I know that's from the laser uh, etching, but it was really burn up on the back it was really scored 
this one's not as bad I haven't touched this one yet but you can see some browning on it and stuff so what first thing I did before I done anything is I took a piece of sandpaper while they're all in here together and just sand it on it lightly flipped it over sand it on it lightly so let me see I have well I'll never find it now but uh, you'll get them to looking pretty nice to where you know both sides are are fairly light in color like I said this one was really bad alright so what I done was I've got me a piece of tile here I think it's uh, what is this thing six by six eight by eight I don't remember I did this in a in a previous video and uh, I got so much stuff laying here here it is um, yeah there's it's a six by six piece of tile and I'm treating this stuff just like I would photo etch okay now I don't know if you can see through that or not but you know there's there's little bitty spots here right there and right there where you gotta you gotta cut them with a knife so you can get them out of there so what I done was I flipped it over on the back side and scored a little line there where I have to cut flipped it back over on the other side and then cut it again and they pretty much pop right out now you want to make sure you got your finger on it while you're doing it because when they pop they will take off so I kept my finger on it cut that little spacer there that you gotta knock out and uh, they come right out I cut the little circles out of the out of the center first and then I cut the uh, ring out so that's what I've been working on now there's two different sizes here this is a smaller size I got those done first and then I'll do this uh, bigger size and then 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 I will take another pill bottle and put all these in there so that's what I've been doing for the past couple hours but like I said th this is the kind of stuff that you know you don't want to be getting into your model getting it about a halfway done and then you got to take a day or two to do this kind of little stuff so I'd rather get this out of the way first um, I'll probably uh, well I'll finish up this one here and then uh, next thing I'll do is go through some of that block and tackle get them uh, rounded off a little bit make sure all the holes are open on them and things like that so it'll probably be oh gosh I don't know I, I'd say probably a week at least before I actually get to the model to get to where I'm putting the uh, keel down and uh, getting the bulkheads on there so we'll get in there but this is just you know I want to get this stuff out of the way alright be more to this probably alright welcome back well I got all those little circles cut out both sheets got those all taken care of put them in my little bottles stash them away because they'll probably be a while before I get to those okay I was watching a guy a, a fellow on the internet where he was taking his uh, his block and tackle and he was rounding them off he was taking a file and rounding them off on the on the edges well I thought I'm gonna give that a shot <laughs> and I, I did a few of them and I thought you know what I don't see a whole big difference he probably had a little bit bigger ones I don't know but I did a few of them and I thought uh, this really ain't worth it you know I, I, it doesn't make that big of a difference so uh, after one or two of them I decided well the heck with that idea I think they look pretty nice just the way they are so here's where we're at I took my laser cut sheets okay the only one left here is the rudder and whatever that is uh, I got that to go yet just them two little pieces in here but this is the keel 
So I cut that all out, cut out all the bulkheads, okay? Now, the wife really likes this. She wants me to frame this and hang this on the wall, okay? So, <laughs> another project I got to do. It is kind of neat, though. So, got all those cut out. Okay, and then here's my, my bulkheads. All right. Give you some kind of idea how big this little sucker is going to be. All right, there we go. Now, what they recommend you do is the center one here it is draw a line right across there because these are all pretty much level right through here okay and then you continue that line off of this with your ruler what I do with my big ruler there it is continue that line all the way across okay just lay that ruler down on that center line there and draw it all the way on out on both ends now you can see on the center here, it's right at the bottom of, of each one of these little slots. But when you get up towards the front, because it tapers, it goes like this while the slots are up here. Now I'll explain that in a minute. Then I took uh, all the bulkheads that I got cut out. Here's off of the one sheet. And these here are off of the other sheet. And I figure this is all a lot easier to work with before I start gluing anything together, okay? So I just take I took the first one here and I worked my way down with each one, sticking them in here. Alright, into the slots that they go. Now I can honestly say not one of these fit okay it was so tight that I was afraid I was gonna snap it so I had to take each and every one of these slots on all three of the keels and uh, I took my little sanding stick right here and just gave them a few passes on each one and this sanding stick fits right in there okay gave them a few passes on each one so I can get a snug fit, but it's still a little loose because you want that because you got to get some glue in there. And not only that, you have to get them lined up, all right? And I'll show you what I mean by lined up. Let me see. Here's H. And I believe, I'm not sure, but I think this is H. One of these back here. Let me look at the plans here a second. Nope. Next one back okay so now with that little bit of play I got in there I can take my square and make sure I got it square this way and then that line I drawn I lay that square on that line and make sure it's perpendicular this way the 90 degree right there because you don't want this they say you know you don't want them twist it this way or this way so you've got two angles there you got to measure you got to measure this one here and this one here off of that line I drew and then I put a pencil mark there so when I go to put these together you can see those lines there are where they're gonna line up at okay now when you cut these out you're gonna have a little bit of uh, piece of wood in there from the cutting process and once again you just take your file and get it in there and get a nice little smooth finish and what's nice about it is this uh, where it's been burned from the laser cut you can see what you're filing you know it lightens up so you can tell your highs and your lows that's nice how good glue is going to stick to that I don't know but I got a plan here's something else nice that they did alright they put a letter on each and every one of these there's a letter there there's a B on that one C 
D all the way down so you know where they go. If they had not done that, I would have had to take a pencil and mark them. Okay? But they already did that for you. So that was nice. Now, here's when it comes in handy to have a printer that can make copies. Alright? So let me get these two out of the way. This is the rear section of the keel. Okay? I took the big sheet of plans, the great big sheet I showed you guys, and I copied this section of the keel. That's this right here. Okay? Right there's the copy of it. This matches that perfectly. So like I said, it's a one-to-one -one on the plans. Now what they want you to do here is score a line right along here and a rabbit line right along here down on the bottom okay that's going to be on this piece of wood so you make a, a, a score line there and it's supposed to be a sixteenth of an inch deep which is the planking thickness and this line up here is where you take a chisel and start tapering this down to that. Uh, I'll show you when I get it done. But I thought, okay, now how am I going to get this line transferred on there? Well, okay. Now if I can find, here it is. I made another copy and I cut it out. Right there it is. I cut out that piece. I will lay that on there. Fits just perfectly. And then I can trace that line there. And they call it a bearding line. Why, I don't know. B-E-A-R-D-I-N-G. Bearding line. But that's where you're going to take a chisel and start tapering down to this uh, rabbit. There'll be a rabbit line on the back here. On, this, on the bottom here, I'm sorry. So I'll be tapering from this line down to this line and on the back here it just comes a sixteenth of an inch all the way down because you got another little piece that goes on here and this does not get tapered so this actually this little piece of, of here will actually sit when you're done a sixteenth of an inch higher than that okay at least that's what I've seen in the plans so it pays to have a, uh, a copier so you can make copies because this all matches right up. Here's the front part and I got to do the same thing up here. So I'll just, you lay that on there and you can see it's a perfect match. So I'll cut that out, lay it on this piece just like I said here. And then I can flip it over and flip this over and do the same thing on the other side. So that's where we're at. And I think kind of you follow the directions. What they want you to do is uh, put this together first. They want you to put the keel together first. And then do that. I think it's going to be a lot easier to handle taking each section and doing them individually. It's a lot easier handling this than this whole big old thing. And you gotta be very careful back here. If you can see that, there ain't much wood holding this rear end on. So be very careful back there. You don't want to snap that off. So that's what I'll do. I'll keep this all laid flat, draw them lines out, and uh, get my chisel. Start tapering that line. Uh, one other thing, these were together real nice and tight. Well, uh, you know, pretty good. Real nice snug fit. Well, I've seen all this, this burn where, the, you know, the laser cuts, cuts the wood, it burns it. And to me, it kind of looks like it's been sealed off. So if you go stick an Elmer's glue on there, or the white glue, I didn't think maybe, I don't know if I would get a very good tight fit, if that glue would hold real good. Wouldn't have nothing to soak into. So I sanded on them a little bit with my uh, sanding file, but
but just a tiny bit and it opened that gap up there so you got to be careful with that but uh, what I'll do is once I do get this together I'll come along with some epoxy and maybe a couple little strips of wood here and here and uh, get this you know beef it up because I plan to do the same thing with this when I, once I get these all these uh, bulkheads in okay once I get these all in with white glue and get them set to where they're supposed to be I will come along and I think what I'm going to do is take little blocks of wood and epoxy in here a little block of wood on each and every one of these to give this real good strength you know it, it's a little wobbly now I know the, the white glue should hold it but I, would, I want to really beef it up I want, I want some good strength out of that because you're going to be handling this a lot with doing planking and everything and you don't want to be in the middle of your planking and one of them snap loose so once I get it, uh, the white glue on there to get it set up then I'll come back along with some epoxy, five minute epoxy and really really put the uh, screws to it oh yeah this part back here okay um, this is the rudder area back here alright like I said this little piece goes on here and then the rudder attaches to this well this little spot right here from what I've seen on the plans supposed to be a little piece of dowel I forget the diameter on it but I gotta get a little dowel rod up in there okay so I have to taper this a little bit to make it fit and everything which means that this one uh, bulkhead here I'm gonna have to hang on to that until I get that done because it fits right over the top of that and I might not be able to get that dowel rod in there unless I do that before I put this on so this one bulkhead might have to wait until I get this in there okay so that's where we're at so everything is uh, coming out pretty nice I mean this uh, this laser cut stuff is, is it's pretty sharp. I, I just sitting here one a uh, little while ago is wondering how these guys did this before they had this laser cut. They had to cut each and every one of them out either on a band saw or by hand, depending on how far back you want to go. But uh, this laser cut stuff is pretty precise. It's pretty nice. I'm when I put these in here to get this line none of these had to be adjusted this way uh, when I talk this way I mean like this when they went together the only adjustment I had to make was the adjustment for this here I have to get this right this adjustment was just automatically there so that came out pretty nice like I said I put that up against that line and that bulkhead and they were all squared off so that's how precise that laser cutting is okay so that's where we're at with this I still got a lot of stuff to cut out of the wood yet but I think once I get this done get all this bulkhead together you kinda of feel like you got a ship going and this shouldn't be too difficult uh, trimming this I get me a, I got some uh, chisels out in the garage. I just get one and get it super, super sharp, and I should be able to do that job there. Just got to make sure you only go down a sixteenth of an inch, it says, because that is the thickness of your uh, planking. And that's what they want you to do, is that fits in there. All right. With that being said, because your planking, your planking does not run up all the way to the edge. That uh, that part I'm going to have to chisel out will be a little ways away from this. I don't know what it is. Probably probably starts out at about a half inch here, goes down to maybe a quarter inch to an eighth, and on up. 
So that's, uh, that's where you'll take your planking to. The edge of your planking will come into that rabbit I got to cut. And this will stay uh, left open or left uh, clear, whatever you want to call it. Okay, it's enough on that one. <laughs>